we are back. Welcome back to the channel, dudes. My name is Lagan, and now I'm going to show you how to pack a punch on the map, the Last Reich. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. It shouldn't take you long. There is one thing that you need to know before you go into it, and that is how to turn on the power. So if you don't know how to turn on the power, I made a separate video for that. You can just click on the screen somewhere. It's right there. It's somewhere on the screen, and you just click on that, and it's like a two-minute video. It won't take you long at all. Learn how to turn on the power. Come back to this one, and we'll get you pack a punch in no time. Okay, so now that you have the power turned on, all you have to do is to go into the command center. And once you're in the command center, you've got two doors that you need to go through. One is marked as the morgue, and the other one is marked as the laboratory. So if you go through the morgue door, uh, pretty quickly actually, you will see a panel on the wall. And you just need to flip that switch, and bada boom, you're done with step number one. Step number two, head on over to the laboratory, just the opposite side of the uh, command center there and you're gonna follow the path. You're gonna go up a flight of stairs, and at the top of the stairs, you're gonna hang kind of a left and just go to the back corner, and you will see another panel. And once you hit that panel, you will have both of them done now, and you are done with step two. Okay, now we can go to the Pack-A-Punch room, and to get there, you just go through the morgue. If you follow my path here, you'll notice that I have to open up a door, and then we're in there. There's a bunch of pillars, and there's a giant steel cage in the middle, and in that cage, is our friend Mr. Pack-a-Punch, and we've got to get that cage lifted. So there is a button over here uh, by one of the pillars, and you need to hit that button, and you'll notice the cage raises just a little bit. So to raise the cage fully, we have to find three fast travel sewer systems and take them to the Pack-a-Punch room, and that's how we're going to raise the cage. So the first one you can find is back in the command center, right there on the side wall. They're big and yellow. They're really hard to miss, so... When you see a big yellow hatch open up, just jump in it. Don't worry about the smell. It's fine. So take the poo slide all the way down, and when you land, you'll be back in the Pack-a-Punch room. Uh, but before you go any further, after you land, make sure you hit the button. There's a little button. Uh, you got to hit that, and that's going to raise the cage a little bit more. And careful, I can't remember which one, but one of the buttons you hit, uh, it'll spawn in a few zombies that'll try to eat your face off. So just, you know, just going to watch out for that. All right, so the next one you can find is back in the laboratory. That's where we... Uh, did that second switch at and uh it's right below it so if you just go back into the laboratory you'll see the yellow hatch on the wall jump in it again when you get to the bottom of it you're going to want to make sure that you hit that button and the cage is going to raise a little bit more now the last uh poo slide is basically you just want to go back to spawn there are two gates uh in spawn that you probably haven't opened at this point uh but take this one right here and then you're just going to go underneath this, like, uh, I don't know, it's a giant uh, tower, okay? And in the back left corner over there, you're going to see the yellow opening hatch. And you just jump in it again, slide all the way down. You're going to be back in the Pack-a-Punch room. Don't forget to hit that button. And when you do, the cage will lift, and you will be able to Pack-a-Punch now. So it's 5,000, just like the other cuts. Um, and yeah, that's it. It's got some pretty cool camo. I like the camo. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, you can buy ammo from the Pack-a-Punch machine, which is great for your Pack-a-Punch weapon, just in case it's not a wall weapon. You can just go right up to it and pay for it. Uh, I think it's 4,000 points to do that. Uh, doesn't look like you could double Pack-a-Punch. I have tried that. And that's it, guys. Pretty easy to Pack-a-Punch on the last Reich. I, I keep wanting to say the first Reich, but it's the last Reich, all right? That's what it's called. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, don't forget to smack the shit out of it with a like. Thank you. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you next time.